Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Herndon. This video shows the frantic race through the streets of Lawrence this morning as police responded to reports of an active shooter at a school turned out to be false. The same thing reported at almost a dozen schools across Kansas, including Wichita, Garden City, El Dorado, and even though all of the calls were fake, it was terrifying for parents and students. KSN's Alexis Padilla joins us live outside Wichita North High School, where one of the calls was received today. Alexis? Jeff, it has become too common of a sight. Mass shootings in schools. Now students prepare with drills year round for a situation like this, but no one really expects it to happen to them. And for hundreds of students, including some here at North High this morning, they had to ask themselves, are we next? What started like a normal day at El Dorado High School quickly changed. Her face dropped and she said, guys, get to the girls like go back there, go back to the, the showers, like hide. The school placed on lockdown, one of many across the state to receive an active shooter threat Wednesday morning. If anything goes wrong, we're going to get out of there and we're going to run and you're going to run like hell. Juniors Chloe Gardner and Piper Wise forced to hide for an hour. We're hearing bangs and the door rattles and all of us like hold our breath and we're like, oh my God, this is it. We're going to die. As texts were going around that a student had been shot, it was only a rumor. The call was fake. What if it actually happened? Like what if El Dorado just became the next big sh mass shooting that everyone talks about all over the country? The swatting calls bringing dozens of agencies statewide to action. We train for these kind of incidents and we take any kind of threat seriously. The Russell police chief says he heard reports of other schools getting fake calls. Then one came in for his town. Our response wasn't as uh, aggressive as uh, we normally would have, but we still want to investigate and make sure that, uh, you know, it's not a credible threat and that uh, our community and our schools are safe. Still processing the threat, Piper has one thing to ask. Just please try to keep us safe. Yeah. <laughs> Please try harder. <laughs> Jeff, now once the lockdown was lifted, many students say parents came to pick them up, and the girls say many families ran to each other, some with tears. Here for you in Wichita, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3. Uh, Alexis, thank you. KSN News did reach out to the FBI for a statement on the swatting incidents. A spokesperson saying in part, quote, the FBI takes swatting very seriously because it puts innocent people at risk. The FBI will continue to work with our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners to gather, share, and act upon threat information as it comes to our attention. 